I, I can only imagine, given what you've been through, that that you have some some opinions on this. I do. Uh, actually, I did look at the video. Uh, unfortunately, it, it was very sad. I didn't watch the video of Ahmad when he was killed because I was afraid that I wasn't going to have the the mental capacity to, to take in what I was going to be shown. But I, I was brave enough to watch the one with Mr. Floyd and it was heartbreaking. I often thought about Ahmad in his last minutes of his life and he was lying in the street just like when Mr. Floyd was. Ahmad didn't have a chance to tell the officer, tell the, the McMichaels how he was feeling because he, he died instantly. I mean, it's, it was really sad, very sad. It seems that at least there was some attempt um, to do something about the situation in Minneapolis. The four officers were fired immediately. There are several investigations. That is very different than what has happened in your son's case. What would you like to see happen in the George Floyd case? Plus, there have also been um, the reaction. There have been some violent protests. People are upset. Yes, ma'am. I do like that they went ahead and they did um, terminate those officers, unlike with Ahmad. Um, we waited for, for months before we had an arrest. So I do think that the Floyd case will move a little faster than what Ahmad's case did. Um, we shouldn't be faced with these type of tragedies, you know, and then the people that are responsible, they're not held accountable. What do you think should happen in the case of George Floyd? They should be all officers involved. They, they should be prosecuted to the highest. This man laid in the street. He lied there. He, he, he pleaded that he could not breathe. And I'm not sure if they took that. I cannot breathe as a joke. But they didn't honor his wishes that he needed to breathe. We, he needed he needed air to function. Especially he, since he was handcuffed and on the ground, so there wasn't much that I mean he there wasn't much else that he could have done. Yes, yes, and that's what makes it so sad because they had already restrained him, and it was no need to have a knee on any part of his body at all. Do you believe that the case of your son, that the case of George Floyd, that these videos are, are showing that they're concrete proof of a much greater problem that we have in this country and that without these videos, there are still people who aren't going to believe that? I do believe without videos, um, in both cases, without a video, we wouldn't have a case because it's gonna be their word against the victim's words. And unfortunately, the victims are dead. So we have to go on what the suspects say, which is very unfair.